how to start a business with no money online. Seven pro tips. Number one is What's up guys, Chris Craze here, and today's video, seven pro tips on how to start a business with no money online. And you ask what are the first and foremost, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, like, notification bells, ding, ding, ding. You know the routine. Now, getting into this, we have four things I wanna to touch on first. Number one, if you wanna just download this and you don't wanna watch the video, you can go ahead and download it. I have a link in the description. And if you wanna get the review and the sheet that I'm going off of today, you can also download that. And I have a link at the end of the video on where to get that so you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to. Now, if you don't watch this, I'm gonna tell you this. These are hard learned lessons that I've learned over the last 10 years and it's some of the best business advice. And I'm not just saying that to toot my own horn, I mean it because these are things that I learned along the way. So if you wanna start a business online with no money and you wanna do it successfully, these are things that you need to pay attention to because if you don't, you'll fail, I guarantee it. Now, the FAQ section, I have a couple of FAQs that I'm gonna be going over and I have a couple of other questions that I'm gonna be answering later on in the video. So stick around for that. And of course, you ask, who am I? Why am I giving you this information? Is this guy even credible? Well, my name's Chris Crace, legal name Chris Mullins. Now, the thing here is this, I have multiple brands in special effects, in entertainment, in online, Amazon businesses, I have Shopify businesses. I've been through the gamut. I know what I'm talking about and I have A-list clients. Full client list is a link below. You can see some of the clients that I've worked with. Yes, A-list, Fortune 500, I've been in Wall Street Journal, so enough about me. That just should show the credibility. Now, why am I giving you these tips? Because I had to learn these the hard way. So tip number one on how to start a business with no money online. Tip number one is you have to have a mission. If you don't have a mission and you're not solving a problem, then you're just dead in the water, seriously. Because problems, when they're solved, require solutions. If you could provide that solution, regardless if it's a service, if it's a product, whatever it is, it's so much easier to market and it's so much easier to bring to the masses, to the people. They're more accepting of it. There are companies that try to start and they try to change the direction of where things are going or try to change a trend or create a trend. Those are companies that are taking a very big chance and it's likely that you're not going to succeed. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but I have to tell you that that is the case because it's not that it doesn't ever happen, but the case is this, it's very, very hard. So if you want something that's going to be successful, if you wanna start a business with no money and you want it to be successful, who doesn't wanna start a business and not have it successful? I mean, really? So if you want that, then you need to do something that's not just a trend, it's not just a fad. You actually have a mission and you're solving a problem. When you solve a problem, it not only is it easier to market, but it's also easier to get your product and your service in front of these people because there is a need. Remember that. When somebody needs something, it's a lot easier to consume and it's a lot easier to get it to them than if they just want it. A need is something essential. People need to breathe. They need water. Something like a want, like I want better makeup. I want my shirt to look cooler. I want a nice car. That's not just to say that that's bad, but those are some things that you need to be aware of. Now, with everything here, I do have a bonus at the end of the video, and the bonus is gonna be good, so stick around for that because it is something that you will want. Now, what's number two? Number two is gonna be your story. Who are you? Ask yourself, who are you, okay? Who are you and what's your story? Now, who is your customer? The customer, if you're just going out to the masses and you're just throwing a fishnet everywhere, like they say in the ocean, you're gonna catch all sorts of customers. Good, bad, you're wasting money, not very good. So you need to find out who your customer is. Who are you? Who is your customer? What do they want? Number three, and more importantly, how are you gonna give it to them? How are you gonna deliver? Because value, if you're delivering value to a customer, value is the most important thing. Solving a problem, filling that need of the customer, remember need, not want, and giving value. The value is very, very important. When you give value, 
people build trust in you. They like you. I'm building value on this video right now by giving you this information for free. This is business advice that I consult Fortune 500 companies with and they pay for it and they pay a lot of money for it as well. Now, going forward, number three, you have to have a plan. Without a plan, now whether this is a business plan or regardless, without a plan, you're just, you're like throwing rocks or what they say, throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping it sticks. Like that's not what you wanna do. Time is money and the most precious thing is time. You can buy things and you can get money, but you cannot get time back. So remember that. Coming from a business owner with multiple businesses, the one thing that I value most more than anything is time. You could throw all the money you want at me, but guess what? My time is more important and I value things based off of time. That's how I look at something, time. Remember that, time is very precious. So now when you create a plan, what type of business, what type of company, what licenses are needed, and how do you source vendors? Those are some immediate questions you're gonna need to ask yourself and you're gonna need to find answers to. And on my future videos that I have on this channel here, I will be addressing all of those for you. So I promise you to stick around for that, that you will get a boatload of information on that because I love over delivering. Under promise, over deliver, remember that. Now, Amazon, they focus on the customers. And I'm gonna tie back to this later in the video with what I'm gonna say something, so stick around to that because I connect the dots. You can always connect the dots going back, but you can never connect them going forward. That is very important with the rest of this video and what I'm gonna say. That's right, guys, connecting the dots going backwards, which means I'm breaking this into four parts. This was part one. Watching the next three is gonna make complete sense when you watch all of these together by the end. So stick around, part two's coming next. Until then, I'm Chris Craze. Like, subscribe, smash those bells and notifications. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, we got four of those this time. <laughs> I'm Chris Craze. Until part two in the next video, I'm out.